Well, my friends in Epsilon Group, uh, welcome to your podcast and review of your paper. I want to point out to you that you basically have a sound framework. We're just going to have to do a lot of smoothing. Now, put on your old hard hat. You need to understand that writing is a very brutal process, and the review of writing is perhaps even more brutal. Hang on. Let's take you into the paper. First thing that I did is I went in here and I added your uh, faculty uh, uh, mentor. I re reshifted this running head. I got this Times New Roman front double spaced. And then I put your title here and all of that. You got a little bit of work to do in formatting. Now, I want you to notice some things. With the passing off, teacher accountability, student achievement, institutions has. That's a, that institutions have become. That's a subject verb agreement. I don't, I don't know that I like limelight. You need to either hyphenate that or put a period in it. And this, this sentence here really bothered me. Increasingly, legislators, educational boards, and administrators, and even the community have been trying to parallel student achievement alongside teacher compensation. Often citing student performance is a direct measure of the teacher's effectiveness, and therefore teachers should be paid accordingly. First of all, that's just a run-on sentence. It runs on and on and on. Uh, you need to put a period here, and then you need to say that uh, these entities often cite student performance as a direct measure of teacher effectiveness uh, and, and, uh, and conclude that teachers should be paid accordingly. That's, that sentence needs some work. State is capitalized when you're referring to the state of Texas. Now, the which here should be that, or a pay scale defined by years of experience to a system uh, more indicative of student progress. So, you know, or more in, you need to work that a bunch. Notice that you did 90%, 4%. Uh, you're not consistent. Check your APA manual. Do it the right way. This can be seen by the vast number of incentive to pay programs that are being trialed or in the making that rewards these entities according to some formula. This sentence doesn't make sense. You need to fix that sentence. Make it smooth. It doesn't doesn't really it, it doesn't make sense at all. Now you notice you use date that way and you use T E G that way. I would suggest that you take the periods out of date and just put D-A-T-E. And then all the way through the paper, everywhere D period, A period, T period, E appears, change it to date. Now, while districts have discretion how they allocate those funds, while district discretion as to how to allocate those funds is accepted, requirements of the date program stipulate 60% of boarding the funded directly be used this sentence is, is not making sense. You need to check it. Current research on these programs. What programs? Are you talking date programs? Are you talking district programs? And these programs. These programs. Yeah, that's very redundant. Uh, what programs? Then maybe you could do it there. Make narrowing down compensation as a significant factor in district ranking a difficult feat. That is about that is awful cumbersome. Simplify that. Another recent study conducted what study? I want to. There's your reference down there. You might say Moran, parenthetically 2010 or whatever. I want to know what study, and, and that's very cumbersome. Same thing here. Who is Lori Taylor? You don't give me any explanation. I, I want to know why you're quoting a person's full name here. Why are you not quoting a researcher who said something? And when you quote them, you may say, Taylor, 2011 said. And again, there, I hate using that word to start a sentence. Date, those districts, you got a little work to do in this area. Well, let's move on to the next page. Uh, contrasting arguments suggest merit pay is at best based on shaky theories and false assumptions. I don't like quotes in a scholarly paper. Some people do it, but listen, I'm the one that's going to grade this, so you say, you tell me what Ramirez said. Don't, don't uh, quote him. You tell me what he said. If I wanted to quote him, I'd read the article myself. 
According to Ramirez, some of the assumptions include the idea, teacher, that this sentence is just run on, run on, run on. To start with, uh, include the idea, and, and an idea is singular, and then you got all this plural listing out here. Uh, some of these assumptions follow, colon, and then put a number of parenthetic one, teachers are holding back, two, all teaching, three, good teaching, four, competition of pay. I'm trying to help you write that. The reality of these assumptions is merit pay isn't realistic. Now, I, I don't like that sentence at all. First of all, you don't use isn't. You never use a contraction in a scholarly paper. But um, who, who says this? Ramirez concludes that merit pay is not real, uh, realistic, something like that. Ramirez also points out that professional, uh, many professions incorporate merit pay, and I don't like they are. Because these professions, you don't use an ambiguous noun to lead a sentence. Teachers are not privy to that kind of discretion, but rather assign their clientele. Look at that second part of that sentence. Rather assign their clientele. That's, that, that's not really smooth. You need to fix that. Oh, uh, the, system, uh, the system by teaching to the test. Don't like quotes. Students will lose out on, got a space in their individual creativity of teachers. I don't, one, one uh, downside is that teachers, that students are robbed or, or lose out on exposure to creative and innovative educators, teachers, whatever, but you need to fix that sentence. Also suggested by Ramirez is that there. I, listen, that also suggested by Ramirez is that there. Ramirez also suggested uh, the the existence of many crucial, you know, you need, I don't like that there and also suggested. Now this sentence is really, really needs to be fixed too. Finally, while true people will respond, well, are there false people? Uh, maybe I'm related to some of them. You need to fix that sentence as well. Now down here, you you make you need to smooth it. Uh, again, another big quote. Don't like quotes. Tell me what Ramirez found. And uh, this conclusion, who says this? Ramirez does, doesn't he? So or she doesn't he or she. So give Ramirez uh, credit for that. As demonstrated, present research has led to varying conclusions as to what promotes greater student achievement. Guys, we've got some work to do. The question at hand is not do districts who compensate teachers at a higher level have greater ranking in student achievement. It is do the rankings differ in teacher compensation. We will work this from, from this down to the, all of that is really the purpose of the study and so forth is in your next section that you will write. Now, I, I know and understand right now I'm probably your favorite person after shredding your paper, but you learn to write by writing. I want you to fix these issues. I want you to smooth this. I want you to read it, read it, read it, and read it, and make it read smoothly. You're not writing a, a research paper. You're writing a scholarly publication. You're writing at a much higher level, and I believe that you can do this. Good luck.